Coming up on the WP Minute, Equalize Digital to the Moon. Back that. Back WP up right into Group One's portfolio. The founder of Awesome Motive owns how many banks? All that and more coming right up. Hey, it's Matt from the WP Minute. Did you know there's a professional group of WordPressers excited to meet you? If you're looking for a more casual WordPress Slack membership to join, chat about the news and share your own content with our audience, consider joining the WP Minute membership for $79 a year. Get access to our group of merry WordPress bandits and help support our show. Head to the WPMinute.com slash support to join. Don't have 79, but want to buy us a virtual coffee to show your support? Head to the WPMinute.com slash support or click the link in the show notes. There's a solid batch of headlines this week that I think you'll find interesting before you head out to WordCamp US next week. Speaking of, if you're headed to WordCamp next week, be sure to say hi. I'd love to hear more about your experiences with the WP Minute and any feedback you might have. The entire WP Minute squad will be there, like me, Eric, and Raquel. Equalized Digital is blasting off into outer space, literally. NASA selected Equalized Digital Accessibility Checker for automated accessibility testing in WordPress. To make reports easier to understand for non-developers, Equalized Digital developed the front-end highlighting feature. This feature adds a view-on-page link to each issue in Accessibility Checker's reports that, when clicked, takes the user to the public view of the web page, highlights the elements with a dashed pink box around it, and shows a panel explaining the issue and how to fix it. Congrats, Equalize Digital with a NASA combo partnership. The WP Community Collective successfully funds the first fellowship for the WordPress contributor community. The WP Community Collective is proud to announce the successful funding and launch of their inaugural fellowship program, the WPCC Accessibility Fellowship. Long-term WordPress contributor Alex Stein was selected by the WPCC as the inaugural Accessibility Fellow as a result of his expertise in accessibility and seven years of experience as a WordPress contributor. Click the link in the show notes for more on that. Group 1 or is it group.1, strengthens WordPress commitment with acquisition of BackWPUp. WordPress plugin BackWPUp is joining group one along with two newly acquired plugins, Adminimize and Search and Replace, adding to the group's growing WordPress ecosystem. Group one acquired the three WordPress plugins with a combined base of more than 1.1 million users from German WordPress agency Inside, I believe that's how you say that, bolstering the group's WordPress offering alongside flagship products, WP Rocket, Imageify, and Rank Math SEO. The Make team announced a new blocks page on WordPress.org, intending to be a strong starting point for visitors looking to see what blocks can do within WordPress and beyond. And I emphasize the attention to detail and beyond. Citing the original GitHub ticket created back in March 2023 from Ben Greenlee, currently there isn't a page on WordPress.org that explains in a compelling way what blocks are or markets it very effectively on the website. We have a filter in the plugin directory, which is useful, but that page is lacking the context of what blocks are, what the block editor is, and why it's so exciting. Check out that page and how they're showcasing blocks, it's really just a starting point because it, it's going to bring you to different places depending on what your interest is. I'm always interested to see where they're thinking about blocks beyond WordPress. And I'm showcasing the blocks and the styles of blocks. So I always scratch my head like, does anyone really use, those styles look great to showcase blocks, but does anyone use that style of block ever in their blog posts? Uh, maybe that's the idea, it's just to show you where blocks can go. My First Million podcast, co-hosted by Sam Parr, the founder of The Hustle.co, now owned by HubSpot, interviews Awesome Motive founder Syed Balki. 2023 has drawn a lot of criticism around AM's products, Awesome Motive, and how WP Beginner leverages its content juggernaut for their products. So I thought it was important to include an interview with Syed that didn't revolve around WordPress, but to help you understand his approach to business and life and make your own Draw your own conclusions from that content. Here's just a clip from that podcast. How many gas stations do you own now? 10. And you own a bank too. I, I bought a, a bank, bank going, yes. In Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, because you have a cool blog post where you're like, uh, I used to go to this bank all the time. 
And yep. I decided to buy it this year. <laughs> yeah, I used to ride my bicycle around it. I couldn't go to the bank. I didn't have a bank account at the time. <laughs> I used to ride my bicycle around that bank because there was a sports authority there, an office depot there. I would just like ride my bike into that. And then I bought that building. We have some fresh new content on the WP Minute. This week, Eric Karkovac wrote about what he's looking forward to experience at WordCamp US next week. And I sat down with Paid Memberships Pro founder Kim Coleman to help me understand how she uses ChatGPT for her content and marketing needs. Here's a clip from that podcast. What's your opinion on how Google is going to start accepting AI-driven content? Like, what is the SEO outlook in your eyes for stuff like this? I would be nervous if I was taking full content, not doing any of my own adjustments, not adding rich media to it, and creating something that was just bland dumps of words. What is your original take? What is the piece that's unique to you? So Paid Memberships Pro, we've talked about a little bit. Uh, one of our unique takes is the eight use cases that we identify with membership and subscription businesses. So even in my AI-generated generic content, I'm trying to squeeze in all of those eight use cases and how that particular broad topic pertains just to this use case. So an example is you know, freelance services for WordPress users. Now, right, you're a freelancer. You want to level up your skills to deliver freelance anything to people who build WordPress sites? What are some developer focused? What are some non-developer services you can offer? And then for specific niches in the membership realm, these eight use cases, what can you offer just to them? And that's my own original thought. That's the value I'm bringing in that's additional to what ChatGPT can make up based on what it knows about WordPress itself and what it knows about marketing and running sales and other services people provide. So I think make sure when you before you publish that you look back and you say, what is Kim? What is the essence of Kim injected into this? Mm. That's it for today's episode. Be sure to listen to our other podcast, WP Minute Plus. You can find it for free where you get this podcast. Search for the WP Minute in your favorite podcast app and add both podcasts because we have some great interviews lined up coming down the pipe here. Summer's, summer's winding down. Cooler air will be in the air and I'll have some better interviews up because of that. Thanks to our pillar sponsors, Pressable and Bluehost. Without these sponsors, support from our paying members and you, the listener, the WP Minute wouldn't be possible. We're looking for more pillar and title sponsors. You can sponsor a month of podcasts for $500 a month or become a title sponsor for an entire year starting at $2,500 for the year. I don't know about you, but sponsor a WordCamp for tens of thousands of dollars for three days or the WP Minute for an entire year for $2,500. Get your brand featured at the wpminute.com slash support. 